we choose not to talk a lot about diversity and inclusion. We're not running from, uh, from the topic. We actually feel like we're addressing it head on, uh, using analytics and revenue and profit to drive the conversation versus some moral imperative. And, and what that means is that it's not about um, fairness and equality alone, it's about equity, which is about people getting, if you, if you treat someone as a person, they need a little more of something than perhaps someone else. And actually, if you treat everyone the same, you are not gonna get the best out of everyone. So equality can be used, in fact, to exclude people and to make the environment a place that certain groups of people don't wanna be in because you're treating everyone the same. That's just not the way humans work. You know, I have two kids. One of them might need, uh, when they were young, vi violin lessons. Another one might need, a, you know, dental care. You know, well, the dental care costs a lot more than the violin lessons, but they both got something that they need, needed, but it wasn't necessarily ever equal. It, but it's addressing uh, people um, where they are. We also find that diversity and inclusion once you bring up those words, tension goes up in the room. Because what happens is when you say that, what people think is race. But they don't want to talk about it because they don't know how to talk about that. So they awkwardly talk about diversity and inclusion. And the problem that needs to be addressed gets uh, diluted. Um, we begin to talk about, we can't talk about race. So then we just say people of color and people majority, because we can't say race. And then we talk about men and women, because that's easier than race. And then what about the disabled? Oh, well, we can't really bring that up. And all these buttons go off that stops the conversation. What we pursue is called a great place to work for all. That's the way we do it. So we think every employee, regardless of who they are, what they are, or what they do for the organization, should have a great experience at work. So that includes everyone. It, it does not separate anyone to say, well, one group should have a really great experience and one can have a less great experience. It means all. You know, um, it turns into something positive and people then get engaged. And they go, yeah, it should be a great place to work. For me too, absolutely, for everybody here. So let's talk about how to do that. And you find the whole room starts to lean forward rather than the other topic uh, people can't wait to get out the room. Um, and, and talking about the other topic, um, for I've you know, heard that conversation for about 40 years. It hasn't gotten us very far at all. What we should want is for everybody to be like it is at the top of an organization, excited about coming to work and doing something that you really, really care about. You're paying for it. It doesn't cost you any more money. So you're just getting more for, for what you're paying for. Most business people get that. They get it and they go, okay, what's getting in the way? Well, to, and we have the analytics to help them know what's getting in the way. It's the way they're being spoken to gets in the way. It's if, you, if you're listening to them or not. You know, are you sincerely caring about what they're saying and using it to innovate and to make business decisions? We ask, do you feel, does management involve you in their decision making? Do you feel informed about how management makes decisions? The reason we ask these is so we can understand what a person's experiencing. And we know a certain type of experience that makes people say, I love it here. Because we ask, do you plan to work here for a long, long time? And people will say yes. And you can predict it based on whether people are listening to them, whether people are welcoming them, whether people are rewarding them, whether people are recognizing them, whether people address them personally uh, rather than uh, as an employee in mass communications, you can actually predict these two things and then you see it in the results of the company in terms of the employee experience. The number is very high and we've proven that the revenue growth of the company, we, know, we have a hunch it's gonna be higher than others and we look at the data and, and in fact, uh, that is true. Mm -hmm.